Alright guys, welcome back to People I Know, a segment where, yeah, basically I talk about YouTubers that I think you guys would really enjoy and should subscribe to, and today I'm going to be talking about King of Thunder. Now, the thing about King of Thunder is, much like with uh, Sapphire Knight Productions, is that, much like uh, with Sapphire Knight, I have not met him personally. Well, I guess you could say the same with Carlotta as well, but we keep in touch, in a way. Um... And yeah, um, King of Thunder basically is a lot like my ch is a lot like my channel in the sense that he does reviews and is a snarky asshole about it, and I love him for it. Seriously, I was like testify, testify when he was going on his epic rant over um, <laughs> over uh, over what's been going on in Civil War Two, which is I like to call the bane of my fucking existence. So. Kudos, King of Thunder, for uh, for not only uh, you know trucking along with this uh, with that god awful um, shit collision uh, collision of a story. Um, thank you for telling me what's going on because I can hardly give two shits. So you know, kudos, King of Thunder, for you know for trucking on with um, uh, <laughs> with it because yeah, after what happened with Hulk and how much has been going on, especially issue five, which was nothing more than one big fight sequence and everyone being just completely stupid, but then again you could say that about the entire comic, it makes me realize, man, I was kinda hyped for uh, for Infamous Iron Man, but if this is the type of Bendis we'll be getting on that title, then fuck that. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, uh, he does a lot of great comic reviews, he does a lot of cool topics, and he's he's pretty funny, I really enjoyed him. I've, uh, uh, I've been loving his reviews on all the uh, issues that have been coming out. I really liked his segment on um, Love Interest. I think it was for Batman. No, I think he hasn't done that yet. Spider-Man Love Interest, I think he's done that one. Um, he's also done character pro... He's done a few little segments called Character Profiles. I, the last one I remember he did was on the... Not, on um, What's-His-Face from Naruto, the giant fox demon Ninetales. That's all I... I know it has an actual name. I just not am not the biggest Naruto fan, so I'm sorry, guys. I, yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't remember the, I, I just call it Nine Tails. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, so, yeah, he did a character, that's the last one I remember. I think he did more, but I could, for, I could be forgetting. I forget a lot of things, apparently. So, um, King of Thunder, um, like I said, he does a lot of cool comic reviews, and I really enjoy his intro. Um, I've been loving his input on the Marvel Universe and the status of the Marvel Universe thus far. I've been really enjoying his take on um, certain characters and certain events that have been going on for uh, for a while now. And not to say, you know, everything in the all-new, all-different Marvel Universe is bad. I recently read through um, online, because there's actually a, a YouTube channel that's actually been posting a lot of the Marvel comics... And one of them was the story arc involving Old Man Logan and uh, X-23. And, yeah, Tom Taylor, thank you for making for pointing out the biggest load of BS that is <laughs> Civil War II. Because there's this beautiful moment, and I'm sorry to go on a tangent, but I really want to talk about this moment, and I feel like now would be a good time. But there's this beautiful moment where after Old Man Logan and X-23 have their fight over Gabby, the X-23 clone, they have this mo She talks to Steve you know, Steve Rogers, and she goes on this t this thing of, you're just, you know, this war is going to do nothing but make us all cynical and bitter around each other, and the world at large is going to even become more, it's going to become more cynical and more distant towards us as superheroes. So, fuck this shit, I'm out. That's what it kind of amounted to. <laughs> anyway, sorry for that tangent, but I was really like, man, Civil War Two sucks. Hey, that's a cool tie-in. And from what I understand, according to King of Thunder, um, the other good tie-in that's been going on was the X-Men tie-in that will be... I think he said that it's going to be the build-in to... Um, I think it's going to be the build-up to Death of X, which I am... Man, I am not looking forward to that. I mean, I, a King, a King of Thunder said on his channel that he's looking forward to it, if only just to rage out. Just to completely fucking rage out. And I look forward to seeing him rage out. Because he did it better on... I think he actually where... You see, here's the thing. He raged out in the whole issue where Hawkeye killed the Hulk in Civil War II, right? Whereas me, it was I was just a steaming load of apathy because at that point I had mentally it mentally checked out on all on nearly like ninety eight percent of things Marvel. 
You see where I'm going with this, folks? Look, if you like Civil War 2, that's totally fine. I have just not been enjoying this at fucking all. Oh, my God. Um, but yeah, uh, it has been very entertaining to watch um, King of Thunder share my pain and actually conti and you know take my pain and continue to read the comic. Anyway... So as, al so, as always, I'm going to leave a link below for you guys down below, so you guys can go subscribe to King of Thunder, um, and yeah, he, like I said, if you, it, um, you should really check him out, I think he's got some great humor, um, I've been really enjoying his work, and yeah, uh, just give him a subscribe, you, you won't be disappointed, I hope. But yeah, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.